Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and this one I'll be showing the updated version of my macro mastering video and Black Streets. Alright, that one's outdated, you know, new update, new video. So let's get started. Uh I'm gonna be doing this on the latest island, the Skull Island. Alright. Now how this is gonna work is you want something that has a large AoE. So I'm gonna gather all the enemies towards you. So for me, I am using light and the wrath of God attack. This is awakened light, by the way. So yeah. And I'll be using Rengoku and Superhuman are as my examples. So yeah. All right, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna be doing this on the left side of the island just because we can attract three NPCs compared to the other side, which only has two NPCs. So uh, let's just eyeball it. Yeah, this looks about right. Just to attract all three of them. Now what you guys want is Tiny Task. Now Tiny Task is the program that's going to make us use the macro. So I'll leave the link in the description. What you guys want to do once you've downloaded Tiny Task, open it up. Come over to preference. Make sure continuous oh, wow. Make sure continuous playback is checked. And then your recording hotkeys and playback hotkeys can be whatever you want. I move that over to my other monitor. All right, let's get started. So what you want to do is start your macro. I start my macro by pressing F8. So F8, and then you're going to press, for me, I press V to attract them towards me. Now I'm going to train my superhuman. So I press over to one and then you're going to left click. But as you spam left click, you're going to slowly move your mouse down. So on your mouse pad, left click and slowly move your mouse down. What this does is it makes sure it makes sure is that you're always going to be looking at a bird's eye view. Now, once the NPCs are dead, do this for another 10 seconds. If you're slowly running out of mouse pad room, uh, move your mouse back up. Yeah, all you know is that all you need to do is make sure you're slowly moving your mouse back. All right, I'd say that's about enough. Now, once you're done with that, you can press two. For me, I press two and stop the macro. Now, after you're done training that, you just wanna make sure you go back to the tool that has your AOE. So for me, I'm using light to attract them towards me. So before I end my macro, I switch back to light. However, if you're just training, you know, one thing, that's perfectly fine. All right, let me show this again, but using Rengoku. Now with Superhuman, when you punch around, you, you're stationary, you stay in one spot. However, with Rengoku, when you spam click, you start dashing around. So let me show you guys how to do it with this as well. All right, so let's equip our AOE attack, start the macro, bring them towards us, equip the dash sword. So for me, I'm using Rengoku. Now, slow you don't you don't have to move your mouse for this you just have to uh s you know space out your clicks actually no you do have to move your mouse for this so as you move down your mouse you just want to you know click you shouldn't spam click though if you spam click you start dashing everywhere so i'd say maybe two second intervals for your clicks now this obviously takes longer just because your damage is, uh, it's not consistent. You know, you're spam clicking with superhuman. However, you're spacing out your clicks with Rengoku. It takes longer. However, I mean, in the end, you're probably gonna be sleeping while you're doing this. So no work needed. Yeah, I highly stress out that you make sure you are dragging your mouse down. Super important. Do it for a little longer while the NPCs are dead. Now with the dash sword, since you're spacing your clicks, you might want to go longer than 10 seconds. Just, just to make sure. No harm losing, you know, five, 10 seconds. All right, now that you're done, switch back to your AOE attack and stop the macro. Now, personally, for me, 
I don't like to use the macro in shift lock, so before I start my macro, since my hotkey is control shift alt P, I turn shift lock on and then I press it. So as you can see, it tracks it attracts all the NPCs towards me. There we go. Yeah, it's just gonna click away now. That's <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Now, now your screen's gonna shake just because of the game's screen shake. You know, it's implemented into the game. You can't really do anything about it. So, yeah, that's why that's why the slowly dragging down your mouse is quite required. That way, you know, at the end, it'll keep your uh, your viewpoint normal. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You can do this at about pretty much any island. Uh, I'll see. I'll see what islands you can do with a quest. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.